everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Caitlin Pollock and I'm a watercolor artist. And I am going to reveal to you guys the results of a light fast test. Now the palette that I got was right from Amazon and it was called the Prima Marketing Prima Confections watercolor set. And this particular um, range of colors was known as their Currents set. So it is a very inexpensive, I don't believe it was professional grade, um, but I could be wrong about that. You'll have to go back to my original video where I swatched out these colors, which I will link below in the comments. Um, but today, I just want to show you what happens when you put these colors in full sun for five months, or about five months. Um, so this was June 23rd of 2021, and you can see the date that I had written has faded, but I can I can still make it out as it is indented. And now it is um, it is November of 2021. So this has been for about five months, and again, full New England sun. And let's see what happens. So you can see that there has been some significant shift in color. So here is the so right here is the original swatch that I did. And then to the right, we have the part that was exposed in the sun. So um, if you watch this video, I had mentioned that I didn't particularly love the palette because to me, even though the colors were really beautiful and very brilliant, I did feel like a lot of these colors seemed like repeats to me. Um, I don't use a lot of blue and so the the um, the differences in color in some of these colors were just a little bit subtle for me. But to be honest, this whole palette of colors cost about twenty dollars. So um, you can make your decision based on that, and also you can make your decision based on what the um, light fast test shows us. So I'll just kind of go through each color, but you can see that the significant color changes happen kind of in the middle here. So this first color right here, Seaside, there is some minimal fading, but I would say that one didn't fade as much. Um, Blue Whale, I do see some fading here. Um, Ocean, I do not see any fading. Turkish Sea, the color actually changed. I would say um, the original color is a very brilliant, um, like an emerald green, and then it did fade, but it didn't quite fade to a lighter version of itself. It faded into almost a different color. So I thought that was interesting. Jellyfish, I definitely see some fading. And this is when we start seeing some interesting color changes. So Caribbean Sea went from this really nice green um, to a blue, like a an actual blue. It's actually, it's strange how that color change was so significant. Kelp was another one. It went from this, you know, um, really fun spring greenish color to almost a faded turquoise. So that one, um, you know, there's a huge chemical shift in the colors. And seagrass, also a change from this really nice brilliant green to almost an aqua color. And sea green did the same exact thing. So these three colors, these greens, were very fugitive. They just changed to something very unlike their former selves. And I would put Caribbean Sea in that same category. So those colors would be really unreliable. I would be careful if you were going to be using those colors and then selling them. Um, now you might think about getting a UV spray fixative that you can put on your watercolor to help prevent that from happening or any fading, but you might want to do some testing of your own if you are going to use something like that. Algae is another color. It went from this, um, you know, again, a really vibrant green to a gray. Deep Sea definitely did some changing, just some fading, and Bluefin didn't really look like it changed at all to me. So, um, you know, those are the results. And for me, I have used this palette a little bit since I, since I showed you the video. 
the work I tend to sell the most of, especially this time of year, is greeting cards, which I do all originals. And um, I also uh, don't really worry about the light fastness for greeting cards because nobody really hangs them up as art. And if they did, then they were just a few dollars and no one's gonna come back and complain. However, um, if I was to use these on a actual big watercolor that I would sell, I would maybe turn it into a print and then you never have to worry about the watercolor fading that way. Um, but if you're going to use this for originals, I would be really careful and maybe do some UV testing on your own. So that is my takeaway. Again, this palette only costs $20. They are, they're they really pretty colors. They're fun to play with. Um, you know, if you're somebody who's not really trying to sell and just want to play with watercolors, maybe you have children who are really interested in learning this art, then I would say this is something I would definitely recommend. Um, they were inexpensive and they are fun to use and they do come out very vibrantly as you can see. So if you guys have any questions about this, please feel free and I will link the previous um, video below. So enjoy and have a great day.